it. You can take my life, but you'll never take my. Well, that was weird. Oh, I got Dumbledore. It's raining, man. Oh, oh, Minerva, Minerva, Harry Potter. Oh, Minerva, I don't want to do my paperwork yet, please. He's gone. Yeah, Professor McGonagall doesn't really play around. Want to see some magic? Oh, yeah. Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. Are you doing magic? Let's see then. Sunshine, daisies, butter mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Squeak, squeak. Didn't work. Did your rat just talk? Well, that was rubbish. Check this out. Oculus Repero. That's pretty problematic. Like you didn't even ask consent. Who do you think you are? Holy cricket. You're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione. No one cares. Get out. He's my friend. You two better change into your robes. And you've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? And you've got smug written on your forehead. You probably didn't see it under that ugly fringe. Well, she's a bit of work. Glad we're rid of her. Before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Hello, my little munchkins. Welcome to Hogwarts. Few announcements. Firstly, the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Unless you get detention. Then we'll send you in unprepared and unsupervised. There are giant spiders in there that'll eat your face clean off. Centaurs, you ever been kicked by a centaur? I tell you what, you ain't walking back. Tell them about the demons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's demons in there. You'll get possessed. Come back to the castle like... <laughs> Holy cricket. I saw a tiger in there once. A tiger? Are you sure you weren't in cat form and it wasn't just your shadow? Oh, well, now I feel a bit stupid. Next, the floor corridor. Out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Is it too late to run? Yeah, it is. Now, I can't tell you what's down there. It's a massive secret. It rhymes with tree bed. Oh, a three-headed... Stop talking to me. Right, let's get the party started. Hermione Granger. <laughs> so, the signs are kind of telling me Ravenclaw, but you have bushy hair like a lion, and I love that for you. So, Gryffindor. Go, go, Gryffindor. Go, go. Draco Malfoy. Blech. Your dad already been mad me. Slytherin. What? But I am a Slytherin. Oi, Malfoy, shut your snaky mouth. So we can get on with the ceremony. Susan Bones? That's not right. That's Defo or Weasley. Oh, not all redheads are Weasleys. It's a common misconception. Elbus, you used to be ginger before you went grey. Don't you tell people that? No, it wasn't. Strawberry blonde. Oh my god, you're so my vibe. Hufflepuff. Oh, can we just skip the badger fluffs and the eagle foots and get straight to Harry Potter, please, and bored? Can you not just behave yourself for five minutes? No. Fine, Harry Potter. <gasps> Gryffindor. Ah! Right, this has gone far enough. Let's try it again. Oh, do we have to? Yes. Re. Bray. Vin. Ven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Eaglefoot. Uh, Raven. Raven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Penguin toe. No, you are doing this on purpose now. Ravenclaw. Flamingo hand. It's really disrespectful to those houses, Albus, please. It's not my fault that Gryffindor makes sense and the rest don't. How exactly does Gryffindor make sense? Because the door to my office is a griffin. I see it every day. When was the last time you saw a freaking badger? Ugh, forget it. I love the badger fluffs and the eagle foots. It's just the Slytherins I despise. But you can get their name right. Obviously, I'll remember them. They make sense as well. Always slithering around those sneaky little serpents. That's not true. There's loads of good ones. You're being childish. You're being childish. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Kind of serious. Quite serious. Dead serious. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. You should both be expelled. Oh my god, party in the dungeon and we weren't invited. Minerva, how do you feel? Not that bad, honestly. The dungeon's pretty skanky. Oh, baby girl! I didn't realise that you died and left Gryffindor to Severus. I know how tragic. What song do you want me to play at your funeral? Who run the world, girls? Who run the world, girls? Oh, I love Beyonce. These boys have broken the law. Sorry, whose school is it? Not school rules, Albus. The law. Answer the question. Whose school? Your school. Oh, is it? Didn't realise. Well, since I'm the law in these walls, it's Minerva's choice what happens. What you've both done is very serious. You will receive detention and I will deduct... We haven't got any house points yet, Minerva. Don't put us in negative. <laughs> the detention's going to be real bad. Ginny. Ginny, please don't be dead. Wake up. Wake up. Blech. She won't wake. Ah, oh, Tom Riddle, great. Do you want to call an ambulance or get help or something? Nah. 
bit sketch. Well then, I'll get some help. That's my wand. Yes, nice phoenix core. Oh, thanks. But give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Yeah, actually, there's a basilisk, so I think I might. It won't come until it's cooled. You're getting more and more sketchy by the minute. I'm going to go get help. You can't do that. As poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. What? It was Ginny who opened the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Ginny Weasley who set the basilisks on the Mudbloods and Filch's cat. <laughs> Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the wall. <laughs> That's weird. Why? Because I told her to. I can be very persuasive. Well, you can't be that good. You got yeeted into a toilet. Wasn't my finest moment. No! Oh. Then I showed you the capture of that brainless oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. Me and Hagrid are broskies, and you framed him, didn't you? Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. He kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. Hey, Tom, what are you doing? Hey, Thomas the Tank Engine, what are you up to? Tommy! Hey, Tom, 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 there's something going on in the bow house. You really need to see it. Yeah, Dumbledore's really smart. I bet he saw right through you. Thongs! I feel like somebody just said something really nice about me. You should go and check it out. Take Hattie with you. Kaka! Report back. Tell me everything. But why are you doing this? Tom, Marvolo, Rid's all right. I am Lord. Oh, <gasps> snap! Yes. Seems a shame. You could have had mild doormat lover. Or immortal lover, Rod. Oh, mum dildo ant lover. Stop it. Kaka! Huh? Oh my god, now it's a party. Enough. <laughs> Naruto, run! Tom! It only obeys me. It? Tom! So, eat him. Yes. Thing is, he just doesn't look that tasty, if I'm honest. Not tasty, not tasty at all. I haven't bathed in weeks. Ooh. Eat him! All right. Haven't even visited me in ages. Now you're talking to me like that. It's just a bit trash, all right? Kaka! Kaka! Oh my god, a bird! I haven't seen a bird in ages. In fact, I haven't seen the sky in ages. You never take me anywhere. Hey, little bird, do you want to be friends? Oh, my God, what are you oh, doing? Oh, my God, ah, 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 No! Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Tom, I've been blind for two seconds. You can't give me a minute. This hurts so freaking bad. I'm scared of the dark. Oh my God, you're laying the side down. Come on. Do you see how he treats me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I've not known you long, but I do think you deserve better. I've tried telling him that, but he's just so self-absorbed. Like, Chamber of Secrets, it's no secret. He's a dick. After I eat you, I'm going to leave him. Great news. <gasps> She's fat. No, no, no. <laughs> Better than that. She's dead. <laughs> She's blind. Yes! He left me here in a smelly old sewer. Doesn't come to visit me for 50 years. And then he just turns up and expects me to clean up his mess. What am I, his mother? Phew. Ginny. Ginny, get up. I'm not playing. We've got to go. This basilisk has serious problems. Hey, kid. You want to take a weapon from my butt? Ugh. Take it or leave it. I don't care. I can't find him anywhere. Naruto, run. Look, there he is. Did you just tell me to look? She's blind. Thank you. Even I can see that's insensitive. Kids, cut me some slack, okay? Stay still so I can eat you. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Please. Ow. Tom, I smashed my nose. You don't need it. Come on. That's easy for you to say. You've got a great nose. Right. Ah. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. Are you not even going to cry? Nope. Oh, my arm's really stinging. In just a few moments, you and Ginny will be dead, and I will be... What are you doing? Stabbing the book. No! <coughs> oh, oh! <coughs> my nose! <coughs> Murder at school, second year in a row. Yeah! And nobody. Dumbledore would be proud. <gasps> Harry, it was me. I did everything. Riddle made me. No! Ouch. Sorry, I've just, um, I've been through quite a lot. Probably about to die, and it wasn't your fault anyway. You were all. <laughs> yeah. Kaka, 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 kaka. You were brilliant, folks. I just wasn't quick enough. Kaka, kaka. <gasps> Whoa. It's all gonna be all right, Ginny. It's just a memory. Amazing. This is just like magic. <sighs> you all right? As long as I'm with you. <gasps> kaka. Sir, you're really gonna let him throat cane me like this? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? So it's true. You have returned. Nice of you to drop in, Dolly Parton, because we've got to have a talk. 
Obviously, I've been living in your head rent free. You've been running your mouth, trying to get me fired, threatening people, you little snake. Ridiculous. Well, the jig's up, Regina George. We've got your burn book. It's not mine. The culprit is. Mash up, mate, thanks to Harry Potter. Basilisk Fang, straight to the face. You don't mess with a Hogwarts crew. Thug life will destroy you. <sighs> so, pound shop Legolas. Anything else to add or we good? Slander. I'll sue you. All right, L. Woods. Knock yourself out. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope Harry Potter will always be around. To save the day. Yeah? And what? That's my boy! Come, Dobby. We're leaving. Master Harry Potter! Arr! Oh, we can't have that. Caca! Caca! Sir, could I have that book, please? Oh, are you following him outside? Can I come? Or is that a bit bait? Quite bait, yeah. Damn it. Talk loud, yeah? Ron, is that your owl? Incoming! Clear the runway! Oh! Bloody birds a menace. Oh, I'm dead! Oh, no, no, false alarm. I'm fine. Well, that was embarrassing. Ha, <laughs> it's about to get worse. What does that mean? Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car? Manova, Manova, Halla! Sit down! For God's sake, man. Oh, kill me now. I am absolutely disgusted. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work, and it's entirely your fault. Oh, my God, so embarrassing. If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home. To be fair, that is proper embarrassing. Social suicide, more like. Oh, and Ginny, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. <laughs> that money's as good as in my pocket. <laughs> Not true. Look at Hermione's face. <laughs> Silence. The house of Godric Gryffindor has commanded the respect of the wizard world for nearly ten centuries. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. As the wild party house, you will be expected to know the samba, the rumba, the tango, the foxtrot, the wobble, and the macarena. What about the cha-cha slide? No, no, that's too powerful. First thing, jazz hands. The Slytherins are doing this with Snape. Bloody hell, Snake Hip Severus. Ah, Mr. Weasley, will you join me, please? Do I have to? Oh, <gasps> looks like it, mate. No, please, your right hand on my waist. Where? My waist, for Godric's sake. Don't know how I feel about this. Me either. Filch music. DJ Filch on the mix. <laughs> Could you just predict something for me? My inner eye is sleeping. Pity. No, wait! I do see something, yes. You have cat plates because even animals can't stand you. What? You're thinking about buying one of those boyfriend pillows, yes? One of those ones that feels like it's holding you back. No. You're lonely because everybody hates you, yes, and you won't allow yourself to cry. But you still do in your sleep and it's pissing off the portraits. <laughs> <gasps> Cornelius Fudge will tell you that his birthday's been cancelled, but it's a lie. He's just repulsed by you. That is quite enough. <gasps> you will be kidnapped by centaurs and they will stamp on your piggy face and it will still be better than the face you have now. And nobody will get you a Get Well Soon card <gasps> because they'll low-key hope that you never come back. <clears throat> Sorry, Professor. Did you say something? Pack a suitcase. Don't you want to know the secret of your scar? Hang on, it's called secrets. I'll tell you everything. Right. Hey, Paris Hilton. What? I hope you've glued that wig on tight. Stupefy! Harry, what's the plan? Run, 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 run. Damn it. Give it to me. It's not going to happen, Elsa. Let it go. Mm. Oh, hello. All right. I just want to warn you to not do something you'll regret. I want like punching kids. Bah! Bitch! Regrets! Hermione did it to me! No, I've done it to you! Alright, Neville, come on. Ah! Alright, Potter, just come for that prophecy, innit? You ain't having it. Are you sure, fam? Because I can fly faster than you can run. Not true. <laughs> Give it a rest, bruv. You ain't even fast. Stupefy! <gasps> That's cheating! This has gone far enough. Reducto! Oh, no! Wow. You have nice skin. Yeah, I do. That was weird. What are those voices saying? There aren't any voices, Harry. Well, you said that about the basilisk voices and then again about my mum's scream, so why don't you shut up? I can hear them too. See? Did you really think you stood a chance? Well, I do beat you guys like every year, so yeah. Shut up. Give me the prophecy 
or your friends die. Mm, what about half the prophecy and then half of them live? Harry! I just want to know my options. I'm under a lot of pressure. Oh, have you seen this girl's hair from the back? Proper messy, bruv. <laughs> prophecy. Now. Ha! <laughs> Victory. Hey, Lucy. Want a sandwich? What? Knuckle sandwich! Ah! <laughs> Everybody chill out. The fun has arrived. Oh! I'm getting beaten so badly when I get home. All right, cyborg man. Watch yourself, I'm feeling a little moody. <laughs> nice wig, Lucy, what's it made of? It's mum's chest hair. Nice one, James. <laughs> Ready to die? None of us are gonna die tonight. <gasps> Bye, Karen. It's killed me, it's killed me. About a cadaver. What? No. Bumbleo. Please, no. Bumbleo. Harry, why is he on mute? Snap out of it, Harry. Just give me a sec. I'm done. And now I'm gonna kill you. Ooh, coming to get me. Yes. See, I knew I was fast. Crucio. Oh, you heartless, filthy half-blood. Pardon? Crucio, me? My cousin just died. You killed him. So? <sighs> You've got to mean it, Harry. Oh, God, not you. Last thing I need right now. I was only trying to help. I don't need your help. I'm just not evil enough for this. You're weak. Big talk, chicken arms. I ain't seen you at the gym recently. Lies. I can do 12 push-ups now in a row. <laughs> you should have stayed at home, old man. Should have left you at that orphanage, but it's too late now. Come on, fish face. Let's give these people a show. Move, Harry. Ow. So, I'm a head out. Maybe I should do that too. No, Harry, you have to stay and watch. But first, how's the lighting looking? Do I look good? Wind in the hair, is it cool? Maybe you should concentrate, sir. Don't tell me what to do. Ah! Okay, fine, fair point. <laughs> <sighs> oh, ball of your breath, disgusting. <sighs> oh, okay, I see it now, I see it. So, eat him. Yes. I know I'm a snack, but not for you. Back, you fireworm. Hey, Tom, I hope you grew some gills when your nose fell off. Hey, Dory, you doing all right in there? Ow, that's actually pretty cool, sir. Oh, only pretty cool? Get out the way. Ow, why? Not everything's about you. This is me time. No. Oh, see, Harry, that was your fault distracting me. Ow, 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 ow. Man's blowing up the whole building. Vandalism, I'm not paying for it. I don't have the money. Don't you even stop. Why can't you just help me out? What? No, don't ask. So basically... Oh, make it stop. She's smart. He's reasonably smart. I mean, Minerva's saying that she's going to end up with Ronald Weasley, but I just don't see it. No. Exactly. A twin, maybe. But Ronald... Hey, Voldy, why don't you just kill me at this point? Put me out of my misery. Harry, no one likes a drama queen. So the bet started out 40 galleons, but I doubles or nothinged it in their second year. Ha, huh, rookie mistake. Don't you laugh at me. You don't even wear shoes. Did you bet on us when we were at school? Of course. In fact, you were the year below Minerva. I remember she hated you so much and I was convinced that it was like going to be a hate to love kind of thing, but obviously not. Huh, can you imagine? Yeah, in hindsight, that was a bad bet and I did lose a lot of coin. Hey, that's not fair. I don't speak parcel force. Uh, he wants us to get back to business. I tell you, since Cedric died, proper party pooper. Hmm. We're ready. Your hair is winter fire. January embers. My heartburn's there too. Yeah, that's good. Harry. Your hair's on fire and I've got heartburn. Ah, oh, stupid. Um, nothing's on fire, Harry. <laughs> Famous last words. It's not a joke. That's my freaking garden. Is that Bellatrix? Oh, yeah. Wait, Harry. I suppose it is kind of dangerous. Not that. Shoelace. Oh, thanks. What's he doing in there? I've not got all day. Ginny, Ginny, hurry up, please. Quick. All right, go on then. I'm here, sorry. Ah, coming to get me. I'll get you this time, you bird nest weirdo. Naruto, run. Harry, no. I probably could have done more to stop him, but I'll be ready for the next one. Not a single person is going to get past me. Whoop. Ginny. Oh, damn it. <sighs> well, being top of the class was fun while it lasted. I'm going to miss this book. Close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. Do I have to? Seems a bit <laughs> dumb. Yes. Oh, all right, sorry. <laughs> Ginny, you all right? It might be my PTSD, but I'm feeling really vulnerable right now. You really are taking ages. <gasps> that was my nostril. You were the one that said close your eyes. I could stay hidden up here too, if you like. <laughs> Why would anyone want that? <laughs> Actually, Dumbledore probably would, to be fair. What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Listen, 
up. The next person who sees Harry Potter, you tell him he's required in my office immediately. Okay? Yeah? All right. Thank you. Move out my way. I don't want to believe it's intentional disrespect, but what else could it be, folks? Caca. I'm just really hurt, if I'm honest. Caca. Oh, here's the little Judas now. Come in. Hi, sir. You all right? Don't you act like you care. I know you don't. I do, Professor. You just can't help who you like. And I like Ginny. Why? Sir, she's strong and independent and funny. In the book? Sure, but we're not in the book. I'll tell you what she does have, though, Harry. Red hair. Who else had that? What? Your mum. She ties your shoelaces, Harry. Who else did that? Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Your freaking mum. It's weird, isn't it, folks? Caca. Now, I don't want to put ideas in your head, but Harry, you're a very rich boy. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke broke. Professor, you can't trust people who are obsessed with money, Harry. I'm just looking out for you. I'm leaving now. Get down, go, go ahead, get down. <laughs> hey, Sev, start the song. What song? I am trying to work. Don't you dare start singing that song. Oh, that song. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape. Dumbledore! You stop that right now! Oh, Minerva, just let us have some fun. You're just bitter because you're not in it. That's true. How do you feel? Honestly, Severus, you're getting as bad as he is. Not my fault. He's a bad influence. Me? Yes, you. I just think it's a shame because everyone else was pretty much in it, just not you. I don't need to get my self-worth from whether I was in Potter Puppet Pals or not. I have an order of Merlin first class. Yeah, but so does Peter Pettigrew. Squeak, squeak. Yeah, but that doesn't count. He doesn't deserve his. I'm sure my name just didn't fit rhythmically. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's just that and not because you're majorly underappreciated as a character. I'm in everything. True, but I'm alive. <gasps> well, she's got us there.